Good morning. It's still morning. Uh, <laughs> I wanted to finish uh, something that was asked in the last class. So we explained that genes are the things that create uh, all the things that we are and how we look and how we think. But I'm sure that you've noticed that we're not all exactly the same. You know, we all have a certain height, but some of us are tall and some of us are short. And sometimes short parents produce a tall offspring. And sometimes tall parents produce a short offspring. And if these genes were fixed, how could that be? So, when we see who we are, it really is a combination of two things. There's genetics. And there's the environment. And the combination are who we are. The word for that is called phenotype. And we'll talk more about that. I want to uh, try to explain to you something about eye color. Just understand that we'll explain this more as we go on. So this is two different uh, individuals who come together and form children. We'll say this is the mother and this is the father. Both the mother and the father have brown eyes. But when we create a person, of course, we bring the genes from two people. And there is a gene for eye color. But in each person, there are two genes for eye color. One from mother, one from father. And when we look at a gene, a gene can have a certain kind of trait that it expresses. And when I say trait, I mean a quality that can be observed. So for example, the color of eyes. Now, in, in traits, there's a term that we call whether something is dominant or recessive. So let's say we mix blue eye color with brown. 
khayan ro chik das mi gamu yinge ki phama khayan ro chik ni biwa inas the brown eye color is dominant over the blue eye color o ta mi gamu ni kharsure mi gamu ke bar chik rigje chorwa rigje di ngombar sel war re sik re ngombu di ngombar mi sel war re ta ngan so sugar ni che bai na ro gamu di suk che wa da ani shemba di suk chunga lab re and each time it's brown versus blue brown will win o ta pamani pama chik mi gamu yo ba da chik mi ngumbu yo na khoni ni du du khadu na mi ngumbu tenge ki rigje di suk che wa chine khong ngun ngur es and yet two people with brown eyes can produce a blue colored a blue eye colored child ta ina ya pamani ga ki mi gamu ina ya khoni ni la ke be bugu di mi ngumbu yong sik res yong tok yong tok res neither have the trait of brown eyes Oh, kuni ni la pamani ga la da. Oh, sorry, blue eyes. Oh, yeah. Pamani ga la me ngumbu yin be kishi di yo ma ro. Kishi si di kishi yo ngazu tong tu ye ji ge ro di la kishi si yo ba. Neither have the phenotype of blue eyes. Oh, kuni ni ga la rigze ngunam di yo ma res. So remember that each trait has a mother and a father gene. Oh, the din de kishi kan de ji na yas de la ne pa ne ani to be rigze da mane to be rigze chini mire la rigze ni ni kishi re re da de be rigze ni ni yo re es so these two letters represent individual traits o da ba ge de yi gi che wa ji da yi gi chung ani ti ye di gi ro wa ani kishi ji gi rigze ni bo de chung gi yo re es this father had parents one was like this say and one was like this Uh it's actually well anyway it this had to get one the, and they will say this is brown and this is blue. Oh ta dina ni yigi chewa jito a bi chewa di ge brown gamu chungyo ro a yigi chunga di ge blue la nang mbo chungyo ro es. Je da da ta da ama jo ro a ama kona mi gamu ro a mi gamu indi kola rigze gamu gi rigze de goro a ta kola rigze gamu di phage phane thobe wando das ani ngumbu di rigze ngumbu di yores di ngumbu di khorangi mane thobe res and and brown if you mix brown and blue together it comes out brown chaza mola rigze thobe adi phane gamu gi rigze da mane ngumbu gi rigze thobe wa chaza morangi nang lola gamu da ngumbu gi rigze ni ga yores yena ya rigze ni ga nani khagi ngumbar segi res lana gamu di ngumbar ser gamu di suk che warela wa ngombar sengye di ta gamu di res chesa me mi gamu yong res and so even though the father has some of a blue gene that's mother oh sorry oh no that sorry mother so no even though mother has a bl some blue gene mm -hmm. the eye color is brown oh phagi ta amadila chida koran rigze chane ngombu ke rigze di yor res yo ba ina ya me mi khado di gamu cha ro and it's the same story for the father Oh, da phagi phadile thara res ne da chikwa cha de res. Father has brown and blue and oh. brown and blue equal brown. Oh, da phagi phadile ro rigze gamu rigze da ngumbu rigze ni ga yo res. Ah, imba ina ya ani rigze gamu di da ngumbar se ne ko mi di gamu cha de ro. Now when the genetic material of mother and father mix There are four possible outcomes. Oh, that the dig pala rigze ni che mala rigze ni che ni rigze de de yonge ni duirwa du yundi ani kopha ge pugula rigze chutandi ani minda wa shi yong chogres when mother and father come together they each produce half of the genetic material. Oh, that pugu cha ngela rwa pugu cha bala ani phai rigze chajik da mai rigze chajik yon du gyo ro du yin de da di ma du ngo la ani ngazu thabung ngazu libu ge thabung nang lo la ro ani thabung cha ni shu zaksum yo ro ni shu zaksum nang lo ne phai cho ne ani khar so re ya ni shu zaksum li res mai cho ne ya ni zaksum du li go res and and they can produce for the father two kinds of sperm cells Oh, that di la te ne ani pa ba di nang lo la ro ani thabung rigze ge thup cha ge chan ne sam lo tang ba ina thabung ring min da ni yong chok res kham ka bu di 
So it can be one with the brown gene or one with the blue gene. Oh, that pie, Korangi, Lubula, Rigze, Tada Yamu, Sanjig, Rigze, Yore, Mumbut, Sanjig, Rigze, Yorwa. In a Kam Kabu, we do so you do Roa, Din and Rigze, Chagajik, Roa, Tacha, Nisakson, and Ya, Nisakson, and Chigna, Rugu, Bosonza, Yamena, and Yamu, Tunjig, Rigze, the Let to Rest, Yamena, Mumbut, Sanjig, Rigze, the Let to Rest. This represents sperm cells. Oh, and now the mother can produce two kinds of eggs. So when the father's sperm and the mother's egg comes together, in this case it was this one and this one, and it's now like this. And this child has brown eyes. The mother has two kinds of eggs, the father has two kinds of sperm. And we can display it like this. So when now father and mother come together, it could be like this. Uh, so this is one possible child from mother and father. Uh, what color is the eyes of this child? Brown. Brown. Okay. It can also have two possibilities like this. Oh, because it can be one brown plus one blue, or one brown plus one blue, like this. Oh, so that pagi la biche wa da bichu wa yong da di mai cho ni biche wa di yong na pai yong wa che pai cho ni bichu wa di yong ba yi na. What color are the offspring here's eyes? Oh, Brown. Brown. Or last, it can be this. Here, here, here. here. What color are the child's eyes? Blue. Blue. So, of this kind of mother and this kind of father, both brown eyes have a 25% chance of a child with blue eyes. Oh, 
这个是一个人的人的人的人的人的人的人的人的人的人的人的人的人的人的人的人的人的人的人的人的人的人的人的人的人的人的人的人的人的人的人的人的人的人的人的人的人的人的人的人的人的人的人的人的人的人的人的人
Because chick ngombo che chick yamu ine da ngam di chick pare. Pro di imba sunsa di di ne ngombo shuk che wa yore se junzen di re da. Because shuk che wa la di kandi ngombo se gi re. Pro di la ne ngazu igi che di tiko ro. Pro che zanda di di gi ko karso re di na lor jaza jaza tamba mi yamu yungu re. Di na ya ngombo gi rize me pare be sana ma re. Pugu sangma na pugu kashi jaza ngabju na lor la ngombo gi rize di yore. I ne ngombo rize di se tuko ma ro. So uh, it's a little more complicated than you know we began. But I think it will become more straightforward as we talk about it. Okay, and I will say the, this work is all based on the work of a man named Gregor Mendel. He was a man who did work this work about 150 years ago. He used uh, plants, pea pods. We've known for thousands of years that plants, when they come together, can form different kinds of offspring. Mendel recognized that pea pods had six different traits. And by combining the plants in different ways, he came up with this sort of figure. There's an interesting story about Mendel. The Mendel Korangi any Tamgu Nimbuji or S. So when people later tried to reproduce Mendel's work, they found something unusual. His work, uh, the predictions for what would come were mathematically perfect. But almost too perfect. The certain events have a chance of occurring or not occurring. The word that we use is the probability. So for example, two soccer teams are playing each other. And one team is better than the other. And everyone knows it. Which team will win the match? The better one. Now, if these two teams played each other ten times, which team would win the match? The better one? What? The better one? Every time? No? No. Because even when one team is better than the other, when they play many times, the, the team that is not as good will sometimes beat the better team. Oh, 
this is a mathematical truth. If the good team beat the bad team every single time, I would say that there is something wrong there. It can be predicted with mathematics. How often the bad team would beat the good team. And it's the same thing with these combinations. You know, there are small differences here. So I said that it can be big B or small B with big B or small B. And if you did, did these combinations uh, a billion, billion times, it might come out close to 25%. But in smaller repetitions, like the two teams playing, the bad team will beat the good team. And Mendel's combinations were too perfect. He didn't do the combinations enough times to create that 25%. There's only, it's not clear why, why his results were so perfect. Some have wondered whether he lied. He, he knew what it was supposed to be. Or understood what it was supposed to be. And so when he reported his findings, he just reported what he believed to be true. His prediction model is right, but only if you run the test an infinite number of times. Science still has this problem. It publishes what it believes to be true as opposed to what is actually true. Alright, let's go to central dogma now. Let's go to the next slide. So we were talking about the cell individual cell again. And the next slide. And again, we said, how does all three billion base pairs fit inside of a tiny cell? 
Ani karsure pisung tebum sum yorwa di ni karsure ning te ning ginang lo lakandes tsugi yoba di kola shuba imbas. Now, have you ever seen this before? Chan tsugi rimudi dinge la tonyo es. No. Tonyo nge kazu e cha yang da. What is this? Oh, di kari res. Kari gi rimore tadi. La. DNA mare di tanye se ba je wa. La. Oh. Che su ro, che su ya na che bum. Let's go to the next slide. So this is all of the genetic material in a cell. Oh, that is, you get the two points, 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 you get the two points. So, this is the one that you have to use. You have to use the number of people who are using the number of people. You have to use the number of people who are using the number of people. In the case of our eye example, And now, this here, this is father and mother, make this. Oh, it's a good thing. 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 Each one of these individual pictures represents a chromosome. Oh, that is why the remove the red one. The red one, any cancer, cancer, red, 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 cancer, red, red, red. So one chromosome from mother, one chromosome from father. That is now the cancer chick, man, it has been chick, pan, it has been. And inside the chromosome, the DNA is wound up very tight. What do you notice when you look at these two different chromosomes? Oh, that is like that. Like that, right? We know any little thing you do, any conjugate change or carry chick tongue does. La, uh, almost have the same sizes. They're, they're this, they're, I know that they're bent, but they're identical in their size. Oh, so that 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 the case you talking about, the thing is, 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 and that is here. So, a mother has a chromosome that is X. And the father has a chromosome that's Y. Now, now, the mother can only make X. But the father can make X or Y. And if we combine these combinations, there are only two. X, X. X, Y. Oh, da. Chick di la pane X top, mane X top na X ni yo ba chagro a. Da 
ফানে ওয়াই চিক থব না মানে তো এক্স মতো থবে আয়ো মারো আনে এক্স ওয়াই ছে বাচি গিও রেস সো এক্স মাদার এক্স ফাদার ইকুয়ালস দিস ইজ আ দিস ইজ আ ওমেন আ ফিমেল ও তা এক্স এক্স নি ফানে এক্স চি না মানে এক্স থব নি গি পুগু দি না ফুমো রেস ফুমো ছাড়ু রেস X mother and Y father. This is a male. Oh, then the man is the X mother. Thobe marwa. Pan is the X the Y ning and Y thobe ina. Then the gipugudi pochagres. So whether we are male or female is right here. Oh, ngazu pore kebare female se di ani chubungi cha ni saksumba di di gie ani inje chedugres. These are the chromosomes that predict. whether someone will be male or female oh the chromosome dig any puchagre phumuchagre di yenje di tang to gores and the rest of these chromosomes have nothing to do with male or female oh di main be chani zasun bo shendirwa nishtani bo shenduzu phoda mogi yenje la jawaje yo mares these are all matched these ones oh duzu tangma rigze tangma chungba res these ones are not oh kuni ni chungge yo mares So that's what's special about X and Y chromosomes. Oh, the important thing is that when the nishu taxon body, raw, any shen da minda was chadu guyores. Is that understandable? Oh, that the sebu chaso. These, the names for these chromosomes that are the same, are called autosomes. Oh, that the the chad chikba chikba yindi ngi gir that. ชุบุนิสตานีบอจอรอคุนซูลาตังอซูออโตโซมสิเกรสซอออลออฟดีสเอ็กเซปต์ดีเอ็กซ์วายอาร์คอลด์ออโตโซมสิเกรสยาซอ
here what it's showing you is that DNA is converted to RNA and to protein. Uh, and when DNA goes to RNA, it's called transcription. Oh, that DNA ne RNA soe ki rimba dila ngazo papshu rimba sigres papshu se di. So remember the DNA molecule splits, and there are two fragments, and these become RNA. Oh, then ne that DNA kache roa tharin dila yar DNA chasan chagu thebe ki rimba marda ko chasi chik kache kache ne koi nanglo la koran da chambe roa dila ningdi pusung bangsin tiyu wa di da chambe sujo ne ningdi rupje di jar ne. And remember that, uh, rather, when RNA turns into protein, it's called translation. Oh, so again, DNA transcription, RNA translation, protein. Oh, DNA uh, so remember that DNA has four possible bases, G, A, T, C. When DNA splits, instead of now reforming itself, Another kind of combination of bases can be lined up as a template. Oh, so instead of um, a double strand of DNA, it produces a single strand of RNA. And RNA is different also in that instead of a T, there is a U. Where a T would normally be, it is now a U. It's like a series of locks and keys. this but U fits where T would fit also. And now you have this long single strand of RNA. And now what RNA does is it's also a code. And now it makes a protein. And a protein has is a sequence uh, of things called amino acids. 
Tizze di any carigi tuba reslana, Tizze Kurangi tucha di la Amino curze cigares, Amino curze manguji to soy undu, any Tizze chadugores, which are also big molecules. Amino acid, Amino curze la edzo, dudu chambu de res, and there are twenty of them. A consu rig mida nishu your rest, Amino curze di rig mida nishu your rest. And so a protein will be amino acid, amino acid, amino acid, amino acid. Oh, da. Tizze se tizze chik di. Then la amino acid rig nishu yorwa. Kunzu su ani jorda mida mida ge jorne ani tukyo rest. But in a long sequence. Oh, ine ya da di ko chengwa masuna ringu shugu yor rest. And now instead of four bases to pick from, you have twenty amino acids. So there are many more combinations from 20 amino acids as there are from four bases. Oh,就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就
Do you believe everything that I've said to you today? You think I'm lying to you? Why would I not be lying to you? <laughs> I'm not lying to you. I'm telling you the truth that I'm not lying to you. Unless I'm lying about lying. Then I would be telling the truth. These are just descriptions. And they don't answer all of the questions. So there's two logical ways that you can think about this. In one way, you can say the extra pages are meaningless. The other way is to say, I'm too stupid to understand what the extra pages are for. I think I'm too stupid. It's always better to assume that you're, that you're stupid than that you're smart. Okay, next slide. Okay, so with proteins, again, it starts with all the sequence of all the amino acids. And of course the sequence, how it comes together, makes the protein. And remember that it's important that a protein is a three-dimensional molecule. When we looked at the bacteria in the drop of water, you could see that the drop of water had a thickness. And so the drop of water, in the drop of water, the bacteria could not only swim from side to side, but up and down. Because this is now a flat image. This looks flat. Think about a soccer ball. Does anybody here like soccer? No. Okay. <laughs> So a ball is smooth in no matter which way you turn it, it looks the same. Now picture a rock that you pick up. And the rock has an unusual shape. And if you turn the rock around, of course, and turn it this way, it will look different. Now 
different parts of the rock have different features. Oh, and A protein is like a rock. Oh, As you turn it around, it has different parts. Oh, and depending on which part is exposed, it will work in a different way. But to make it a little more complicated, it can also change. A rock doesn't change. The protein can assume different kinds of shapes. It's meant to be a certain kind of shape. But when the protein is exposed to different kinds of environments, it can change. So for example, if it is exposed to heat, let's say that you are sick and you have a fever. If your body temperature rises to a certain amount, the proteins begin not to work right. The body is designed to work at a very narrow band of temperature. Normal body temperature is 36 degrees. If you go from 36 degrees to 43 degrees, maybe as high as 44. After 44 degrees, you will die. If you go from 36 degrees to 30 degrees, you also might die. The proteins work in a very special amount of temperature. They don't like it when the temperature is wrong. I'm the same way. But for me, it is 22 degrees to 24 degrees. Maybe 21 degrees. Below 21 degrees, I start to get very upset. Above 24 degrees, I get very upset. I have a very narrow temperature band of happiness. I come like you from a cold place. I'll tell you a story about cold. Sometimes patients have to have an operation where we cool the temperature of their body. Because we need to operate on their heart. But the problem is that we have to cut into the heart at the same time that the blood has to circulate. 
So sometimes we hook them up to a machine that circulates their blood for them. And so they still have the flowing of blood and blood pressure. Even though the heart is now stopped. For technical reasons, sometimes we can't hook them up to the heart lung machine. We cannot? Cannot. In a cabrera, any Gunze, the name Mandala Tene, and called Trija de Pijetangma to a young girl's. And we still need to operate on the heart. Yimba in a tandu, Ningala Shangsu de Che or was. But we can't because if we cut the heart, all the blood comes out of the body. And so in that circumstance, we cool the body. And when the body is cool, its oxygen requirements are less. And we can cool the body all the way down to 18 degrees. And when you touch a body that is 18 degrees, it feels very cold. And when the body is that cold, there is no blood pressure. Is the person dead? No? Sometimes. Uh, maybe <laughs> temporarily. Uh, so we can do this for about 30 minutes. Uh, and operate on the body when it is that cold. Uh, and there are ways of extending it to about 45 minutes. But if the body is kept that cold for after 45 minutes, it starts to die. Why don't we cool the body all the way down to below zero. What would be the problem of doing that? All the cells will become ice. And then what would happen to the cells? Okay. So the it will not function. Well, the cells would break. Because remember that water, when it freezes, expands. Oh, Certain kinds of animals can actually be frozen in ice. And then be thawed and survive. How do they do that? <laughs> Their cell membranes can expand? No. <laughs> it's a good guess. <laughs> There's only one possible explanation. 
Even though the animal is surrounded in ice, the animal doesn't freeze. It has antifreeze inside of it. Like a car in the winter time. We don't put water to wash the window in the winter time. It has to be antifreeze. Certain kinds of chemicals don't freeze at zero degrees. Somehow these animals have developed natural antifreeze. Sometimes people have fallen through the ice. Or they fall asleep outside in a snowbank. And they appear to be dead. And we bring them into the hospital. And I was taught that no one is dead until they're warm and dead. And so we warm them up and we see. And sometimes I have seen people who appeared to be dead and were not. I had a patient once who, after surgery, had a seizure. Do you know what a seizure is? Like a shaking something wrong in the brain, the electrical activity in the brain is abnormal and the body shakes. And the person is unconscious. And if the seizure keeps going, it destroys the brain. And I couldn't get the seizure to stop in this person. And so I did the only thing that I could think of to do. I got a bucket of ice and I poured it over her body. And I kept doing that until the seizure stopped. And I cooled her body. And I kept it cool for 24 hours. And then I let the ice melt. And she started to seize again. So I got ice and did it a second time. For another 24 hours. And her husband was a singer. Singer? Singer, he sang. And he sang to her when she was covered in ice. And I thought, this is the saddest thing I've ever seen. There's no way this is going to work. The singing? No, well, any of it, that she would not survive. And I let the ice melt. And she wasn't having a seizure. 
Ani di shurve jela thar niwa di jela ni daria di yong masons. And I took care of her for a while, and then I lost track of her. Oh, dene gela gi koram da yong karoji cheva yes, and dene ne ne mala kari chungba di haku masons. And I figured she died. Ah, peje mothong yu gires. A year later, I am in a restaurant. Oh, thong re samsons ine loji gi jela ni saganjel do di. And I see a man eating dinner. Oh, meji gi ni kala sa de shas. And he calls me over. And me digging out so shows like get down songs. I don't immediately recognize him. Oh, me di lam sang ngota ha chue ma songs. It's the husband who was singing. Oh, and di tang ye luba di re shas khasan she tang ye di. And he's having dinner with his wife. Oh, ko koran ki me nyam do ni kala sa de shas. She survived. Oh, mo ni ma shi wa ji suyun tup shas. So, we talked about The, all the genetic material is the genome. Oh, then I do get angry. Genome get nangro la rize di chasan yores la nshiva imba. And that individual sections are genes. Oh, that is why I tumbu so 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 di rize re re ba. Let's go to the next slide. So an individual gene then undergoes transcription and makes RNA. Oh, that is why I rize changba chig la ro. And it pops up in the name the DNA RNA to do this, and that happens in the nucleus. Oh, and it turns out it's called the DNA now to do this. Next, and now the RNA now leaves the nucleus. Oh, that DNA the RNA the and it's called DNA the matrix, right? Ah, DNA the matrix to do this. And the next slide. And now it goes and makes protein by translation. Oh, then in it, the RNA in it is a di sugar, a di sugar, a di pabju giren ba di thoni sugar es. Now these represent individual genes. Oh, that the DNA ringbu chigala rize so 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 sum chungi yo nas thumbu so so giri rize sum. And you see, it's drawn that there's some space between. Oh, di nanglo la ta rize ni ki phara tong cha du as. As we discussed, there are parts that don't seem to do anything. Oh, ngazu ngal la shu ba na shi chen e. DNA ge cha ga shi le cha wa me ba sura din de yo re es but that's because we're too stupid to understand oh di kare se la ba ina ngan ju ge di shi ma tu ba re es we'll figure this out one day oh da di cha di ge cha wa kare ji ba di ni ma chik din de ngan ju ge shi tu ba cha ge es each of these genes next slide will also make an RNA and then a protein Oh, that the rize do do re re in da shu su ne ro RNA su RNA di shi la sha ne ni ti ze su gi o re s. Now remember we said how big is a gene? Oh, ngan zu gi ta gi rize chi gi na che liu ka zu ye ba di shu ba. A gene can be as little as 27000 base pairs. Oh, that rize be na chung chung shi bu ji yin ba yin na ko na lu la pul cha che ro pul cha ni ni ti dun dong yong cho gu re s. Or up to two million base pairs. Ah, rize ringa, rize chig reta, rize chig ringa do zui na ko pil pil pilcha din de ne saya ni yong chok res. Pilcha zui na di roa a dan t ni jor de di pilcha chig roa. Oh, din de chine saya ni ringa do zui la saya ni la yor re. Ani tung a di la ni chi du non din de yor res. Each gene makes its each individual RNA. Each RNA makes its individual protein. Oh, just that the rize can't get so so gi RNA can't get rid of so to rest. RNA ni kiti ni rid of gi ani tize chera ba rid of so to rest. Thirty thousand genes, thirty thousand different types of RNA, thirty thousand different types of protein. Oh, that means you live in a lot of rize minda was tissue mirror. Sum tissue sa di la RNA minda was sum tissue to gurwa. RNA so so gi ani tize so gi was sum tize ring minda was sum tissue yorwa. So again, the gene is now, or the RNA is making this protein. Ah, the RNA they get to see the sugar rest. Next slide. And now this is the third gene making a different kind of protein. Ah, that the rize sumba di la di ne RNA sumba ji chup roa minda waj. Ani di la di ne rize minda waj chup tu guyo rest. One gene, one RNA, one protein. Ah, that di ge ten da di kare es la na rize chig le RNA chig chup re RNA chig le. 
Next slide. So now we can see the different kinds of proteins. Next slide. Okay, so we're, this is review now, okay? So what is it called between here and here? Transcription? Right. Okay. So go to the next slide. And what is this process called? Okay, translation. Translation. Okay. Any other questions? Tabunjan <laughs> So his question is about the cell uh, replication so when uh, or cell division when a cell divides into two yeah does one part of the original cell become another cell or how does the division happen at the cell division well, does the, the does the original cell become two or a part of it becomes another cell or how does that work? Do we do we do like this cell division? Oh, we we didn't, didn't, no, we didn't do it. I wonder if we should talk about it. I don't think maybe we didn't talk about it. Well, it, it, it's a bit. The question is, when one cell divides, does it become? It becomes two cells. Is there parts of the original cell in each of the offspring? Is that right? Yeah. It works like DNA. It's a sort of a semi-conservative. There is parts, you know, that are there and then new parts are, are added, I guess, is how to think of it. So the whole cytoplasm divides into two? Well, you know, let me, let me answer this question better. I think this is, I have to give a much longer answer, but I will answer it maybe the next, maybe in the afternoon, or we'll find some time to talk about it. Uh, ลวาจินาทันตะดีตะขัสุเรเอ่อแคงรุมบุเชกิเลนติชิวะดิเลเลนเชฟชูบายนาอันนี้เอ่อทะบุนนาลุลเตญิงยอรวาเตญิงนาง
right? So if a cell divided into two, yeah, you know these two are the results of the previous cell. Yes. So what would be the material cost of these two cells? So, so what is the seed that produced these two sprouts? Like, like wh why did it take place? You mean, or uh, I don't know if I understand the question. Oh, okay. Well, the question is kind of similar to the first question. So, what becomes? Oh, what like, is that oh, that becomes what, what's, the two what's left cells? over? Sort of. Is that kind of like what? In a way, you know, parts of your body are always turning over. Okay. So think of it maybe like a car. Okay. So the car, you buy the car, and the car is new. And you own the car for 20 years. And over time, parts of the car break and have to be replaced. And uh, some of the car remains, and some of it is replaced. And the body is like that, too. Some parts of the body remain. Other parts are replaced and recycled throughout the life. Uh, Material ชะมังกุจิกตะโกซาบะชะเดอเรสรอตะมอดะดิตะกะรันเดอเรเดอยินะยามอดะกิชะชิมังกุจิกซาบะเลเดอรอดินาชิงาจุลูบุละชะชะ
There is something called triple X, where now you have two X's fertilized. Oh. I think that there's X, Y, Y. I think that there's X, X, Y. There are all sorts of combinations that are abnormal. Some of this, like, I think um, XXY might be very common. There might be someone in this room who is XXY. Oh, that the X need a Y chick, you get the test chick, you don't get the chair, you rest. Just a room, the Nangola chick, you know, XXY, you get your rest. And you may never know it. In an Azushin to Gumares. It can't be seen. Oh, digging one number of the Tuyaki, you mares. And you can still have children. You can't be X nothing or Y nothing. But there are many genetic variations that can result in sterility. Now a man has to be able to produce sperm that will live, that are viable. And a woman has to be able to produce eggs that are viable. So, and some conditions make that not possible.